All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the best moments in Howard Stern show history, which happen to be some of the biggest freakouts and meltdowns and fights during the show. And I've already made one video like this. So if you enjoy this one, make sure you go check that out at the end. And now I'll just get into it here. So the first moment I'm going to be talking about is the time Ronnie the limo driver flipped out at JD. And it started because Ronnie had his own car show on Sirius at one point and Howard wanted JD to get some clips from it, but he said he had trouble sitting through it. It was that bad. And he said it's actually the most boringest show he's ever heard. It's the most boring show I've ever heard in my most, life. <laughs> how do you say most boringest if you went to college for four years? Full well, fair. I didn't go to college for four years. How many years did you go? A school where you learn it's like specific... A, it's, like um, a, it's like a place you learn not to speak English. Like you take a, you go film and video or... They didn't teach you how to talk there, did they? Most boring is. <laughs> so you Stupid think you, motherfucker. So you think the car show is horrible? <laughs> well, you can be honest. I, I don't hear your show. I, I I could have a show if I wanted one, I guess. You can't but talk. I don't, I don't know you, what to do, do on a show? It. You can't even talk. Yeah, so right out the gate, Ronnie is fired up that JD is trashing his show, even though this is just how Ronnie is normally, pretty much. He's always worked up about something. He's got a temper. But, you know, he is scores, man, and he claims he's all about having fun. I'm scores, man, damn it. And I'm about getting drunk, I'm about having fun, I'm about having a good time. But JD had to know what he's getting himself into here, because when Ronnie's not having fun and having a good time, he is always on edge. Like, he's had plenty of meltdowns on the show, a lot worse than this, but this is one of the funnier meltdowns for sure, and it's just funny that JD is the one talking shit. I listened like five minutes, and I got bored, and I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with it, and then I asked Scott when he came in, if he could listen, if he would listen to it. The, well, you know, first, first of all, you don't know talking. anything about cars. Hold on, I'm not done talking. And he was oh, really talking. You stupid fuck. I mean, you can't even talk. Where's your show? Where's your show? That has nothing to do with if I have a show or not. You can't even you, talk. You've been on a boring a show. show. <laughs> so boring. Maybe I should review that and maybe take it Whatever. off the air. Whatever. Take it off the air. You, you don't, don't care, right? No. JD, what are you saying? No, actually, beginning? I do care because people do like the well, show. Hold on. JD. I like at first Ronnie says he doesn't care if they take it off, but then he's like, you know what? I do care. People watch this show. He's always trying to do this thing where he's like, I don't care, whatever. It doesn't mean that much to me. But then it's clearly getting to him and he's getting really defensive. Like at the end of all this, he literally just gets stuck saying, I don't care a bunch of times. It's As okay. I don't care. All right, Ronnie. I don't care. You. Obviously you I don't do. Care. Obviously I don't you do. I don't care. Okay. Thank you. And what led to that is Howard decided to give JD the power to cancel Ronnie's show. But I don't think anybody, including Howard, thought he'd actually do it because then he'd have to deal with the wrath of Ronnie. Joe, he's a stupid ass. I would feel bad. Because I'm not, it's probably not for my don't demographic because I don't own a don't car. It's a bad. boring show. Is it the most boring show? It's the most boring. <laughs> is it, am I doing wrong by my life? I don't know. He's but... being awfully angry. I don't want to, well, you know. He timid, he's trying to intimidate you. I know. It's well, my fucking show. Wants their show canceled, JD. Dude, you take my show off, you're a dead person. <laughs> <laughs> What are, you, what are you, John Gotti? I, I didn't realize that I didn't realize this show was so important to him. Yeah, so the intimidation tactic ended up not working too well for Ronnie, and I think it even kind of backfired on him because, like JD just said, he also kind of feels bad about canceling it. He knows it means a lot to Ronnie, so for Ronnie to just keep insulting him, and he also starts talking about how JD is terrible at his job. That probably wasn't the best move. And eventually, JD's like, all right, sorry, Ronnie. You can't do it. <laughs> There's Ronnie. Look him in no, the I eye know. and cancel the fucking show. Then. I'm, so I'm sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> sorry what? Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what the show means to You're Ronnie? Sorry what? <laughs> <laughs> Show's canceled. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Oh. All right. Wow. Okay, there it is. No JD just canceled Ronnie. Does show. it really? Is it really? Does it really mean that much? Why not? Just because you're an idiot, and you don't want your own show. That's not my problem. It means a lot to me. Okay. Ronnie, JD canceled. Hey, the whatever. Show. Okay. All right. Well, I guess he is ready to take the I never, reins of power. Ronnie, honestly, I never thought he'd do it. <laughs> whatever. I don't really care. He wants to be like that. That's fine. He wants to be an asshole. That's fine. Okay. I'm being an asshole. I'm thinking, no, you're being an asshole. Thinking better of you're the Howard listeners. A what? <laughs> All right, what do you know about Howard's listeners? What do you know? You just stand back there like a fucking moron, and all you do is look at that telephone screen all morning and run in and out of that fucking bullpen like a moron, throwing people under the bus. I didn't realize you that's were watching your, so much. That's, your, that's my job to look at the hall. And then since these two worked together, then it went on for like a month or so, I think. And I'm sure Ronnie's giving JD shit every single day. And he even vowed to destroy him at one point. No, I just don't want any part of this JD thing. 
I'm You've done. Had it with I, JD. I'm so done with this guy. When you say you're done, done if you see him... my my goal in life now is to destroy him. Somehow I will destroy this kid. Oh, wow. no, wait a right? don't say that. No, he's, he's done. Do that? What do you I will destroy him somehow. <laughs> wow. his life is I don't care. I, fuck, I will destroy this fuck before he's done. Well, we'll be different. Ronnie, I'm done with this but I want to know something. No, Ronnie, I'm asking a question. This has nothing to. I don't want to be in the same room with him. All right, I'll quiet him down. But then after a while, they ended up working things out. I think because even Ronnie started to realize the show wasn't very good, and JD kept telling him it wasn't his fault, and he just needed a different idea for a show. And someone eventually gave Ronnie the idea that he should start another show about relationships, and he could have on a bunch of girls and he could talk to strippers and stuff which obviously excited him a lot and he probably forgot about all the jd stuff an idea that we've been thinking of so what do you got it, uh richie wilson came up with this show it's called what's your problem okay <laughs> and it's like anybody could call in about anything about the stripper having a problem with her shoes or uh a, a guy having marital problems whatever you know any right. kind of any kind of crazy shit like that Maybe not. And we have a panel of, of like crazy girls instead of these fucking boring car dealers. Right. Why well, do they have to be girls? <laughs> Why not? Ronnie you have a guy. That's you my know? thing, man. Because uh, Ronnie wants girls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know. Trust me, I know. And also, I'm sure Ronnie eventually just moved on to fighting with somebody else. I mean, he's had a beef with pretty much everybody at one point, even an intern for the show. He told my mother I was on too much medication. I didn't tell your mother that anything, dude. Don't tell should, me I told they, your mother anything. What did you I didn't talk my... to your mother. Don't tell me I talked to your mother. Oh, she heard you. Okay. What did she? What did she hear? I didn't talk to your mother. He said on the intern show that maybe when they did surgery on my jaw, that they they gave me too much medicine or too much anesthesia. <laughs> they should have kept my jaw wired. And he was interning for Scott the engineer, who is the next person I'm gonna be talking about in this video because he had a meltdown over a push-up contest. This is a classic moment. So one day people are wondering how many push-ups Scott could do because he's all out of shape and he smokes cigarettes all day. So everybody's making bets, like just small bets, not taking it very seriously on how many he could do. And he was only able to do two of them, but they felt like he wasn't really trying too hard. And then they decided to make a more official bet with him for a lot of money. And Scott, he barely gets paid anything and he's always desperate for money. So they decide to bet him that he won't be able to do 18 push-ups after I think a month or two of training. And if he does it, he'll get 30 grand, which I'm sure was probably a lot more than his salary at the time. And then if he loses, he owes them, I think two or three grand and he has to walk around the block naked. So there's a lot of pressure on this. And I think the stress was starting to get to him because during his training, somebody recorded him for the show and he didn't want them to air it until after the push-up contest, but Howard wanted to play it before it, and he just had a meltdown. Here's Scott training. Oh. It's not going to change the bet, Scott. Oh. doesn't change the bet. Look, he's storming Ooh. off. Good, I don't care. Play it anyway. <laughs> There's Scott punching a bag. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't God. see a thing. Robin, <laughs> you have never seen anything like this in your life. Quickly, <laughs> put it up on the big screen. From the yeah, Scott's yelling out a hole, Howard. like a maniac. I told you not to use the goddamn tape. Scott, did I, I say you don't use the tape? I told Get you. Get out of my way. I told you. Get out of my way. I would have never let you come if I knew you were going to use the tape. No way, Ganji. Now stay out of my face. Scott, I told Get you. Get out of my face. I don't care. Get the camera out of here. Scott, you out of here. Now. Scott, Scott. Come on! Turn it off. Get it out! What's going on, Grab Ganji and shoved him and took the camera and yelled in Tom's face. I think he's cracking from all the training. He, is cra he, he just is cracked. Yeah, he, it just was, cracked. he just cracked. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, he what's just the difference? Who cares? Yeah. What is he doing now? Dying. <laughs> oh, my God. He looks like he's dying. <laughs> and then for the contest, it was this big event, and they had a bunch of people there to watch. And for some reason, they had an intern officiate it and judge the push-ups, which ended up being a really bad idea. And I'm sure this guy regretted agreeing to do this because there was a lot of controversy afterwards and there's a lot of money on the line. So it gets pretty intense. But the problem people have with it is they think that Scott's chest never really touches the ref's hand at all. And it also looks like Scott's kind of doing Burt Kreischer push-ups where he uses his stomach to kind of push himself back up. And also at one point, the counter they're using skips a number. So there's a lot of controversy here. But I think eventually they do end up paying him, even though they are not happy about it. And you can tell the ref doesn't know what to do. Like, he's in way over his head here. Like at first, it sounds like he's going to count all the push-ups, except for one, which still means he did enough and he won the bet. But of course, there's all this controversy and everybody starts questioning the ref and flipping out. 
and people feel like he didn't do any legit push-ups. So then the ref says that Scott didn't do all the push-ups he needed to, and then Scott just loses it. Did his chest touch the ground ever? His knee started to buckle at the end, and he missed He missed one that I counted with the whistle. And he was around the spot. I don't mind paying the money if this was done fair and square, but I'm going to tell you something. Howard, I hit the I'm going to tell you one thing. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me hold, it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I got to be able to talk. Did Scott do 17 push ups? No. He did not. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me. At, at the point that I blew. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Dean wasn't even watching his back. His legs were crawled. His legs were on the That's when I blew the whistle. I blew the whistle at that point. I don't even. I'm going to go to the judge one more time. Did Scott do 17 push ups? No. Thank you. No, We're I have to be honest. You can't say that. You blew the whistle once. Listen, if it wasn't a push-up, you would have blown it more. Just, that's all I got to say. Wait, he said. Hey, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm down. I know it. You better pay off. You're Whoa. In <laughs> you better pay off. I did the goddamn push-up. Scott, Scott, you got it. So then the ref goes out to watch the tape and make one more official decision and he announces that Scott actually did all the push-ups. And either way, you gotta give Scott some credit. You know, he definitely trained hard for this. He went from doing only two shitty push-ups to 17 shitty push-ups. So even if they weren't legit, he definitely put in a lot of work and he did pretty good. But of course, all the controversy ruined the moment for him and everybody's acting like they're just gonna pay him out of pity. All right, it is my judgment that Scott did do the push-ups. Oh. Now you're switching. You're saying he did do yes. it. Yes. You, you I, I will admit, I will admit, I will admit I floundered after the major decision because I had to watch the tape. All right, I'll give him the money I had to, I'll, I, I'll I, the money. Listen, listen. I, by the way, which decision should I go by? This one or the one that you uh, gave? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You wouldn't have said that to this him decision. if he said in no. your favor. I'm, I'm going with it. I just okay. said I'm going Didn't with it. Didn't we listen. say we're going to pay? I, yeah. I'm paying. If, if you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Howard, I'm not in the military. No offense. No offense. That was what we were looking for. We were looking for a push-up. And you knew you never that. Did, you didn't we do one. perfect push-up. You didn't no. do a push-up. I'm going to say, you know. You're still a loser, and you never can do a push-up. No. You still can't. See, I told you. Because he's a baby, and yeah. you know what he's doing? He's just going around pouting. That's right. He'll right. sulk if we don't. Yeah. Tell you, why, was, do I, why do I have to be forced oh, to pay him? I have to tell you, I was <laughs> totally in favor of paying him, but I just counted again. It is 16 push-ups. All right. That's all right. If it that's... Is. You have to listen, go out of listen, town listen. again now. You I, can't. Hey, uh, can okay. I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, do you have any IQ at all? What's going on? You're missing listen, it all. I, go out and count it properly. Okay. I don't care about the money. I'm going to give it to him anyway. I, I love him. Why is he doing he, that? Uh, he His legs did not hit the ground. He, he's flailing around. Dean, you, you can't see that. If you look at your face, Dean, you're all never right, looking well, at it. I'm just then, saying. Then if I, it was out of my. If it was right. Out all right. Of my you know what? I'm going to end the discussion. Scott. Look at that. He's begging on his knees. Scott is going to get $31,000. And that's. And you just see the smile on his face. He's so happy. Yeah. Because he's a loser and he would take your and money Dean, whether he did something Dean, or not. Dean, no offense. I mean, I don't know what you're dreaming about. Listen. There isn't a person in this room who thinks he did it except his friends. And I believe Scott did end up getting paid, and that intern probably ended up losing his job. I mean, I don't know why they chose him to begin with. That was obviously a really dumb decision. Like, they should have had somebody a little more professional, but it ended up working out for Scott. You know, if that were a real ref, like an official ref, maybe they wouldn't have counted those push-ups. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think those are push-ups or not. So I just have one more clip to go over here. This is the time AJ Benza flipped out and tried to attack Stuttering John. And it's crazy because AJ was there to try out for an in-studio position on the show. This was right after Jackie the Joke Man left. So AJ was trying out for his spot. And this was a big opportunity. There were a bunch of comedians that wanted this position. Like, I think Joe Rogan even ended up trying out for it. And then also Greg Fitzsimmons and Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kimmel. But I think AJ was one of the front runners for it until this happened and he got banned for a couple of years, which is a good thing because then Artie ended up getting the spot and he was definitely the best fit for it. So this fight between AJ and Stuttering John happened because John, whose job it is to screen callers, just kept putting through callers that were going to talk shit about AJ in the show that he had that just got canceled after like two episodes and AJ is not having it. And after one of the callers, he says he's going to go punch Stuttering John in the head but that, of course, does not stop John. And then he calls in and starts talking shit about AJ's show. 
Hey, uh, I got a question for AJ. Go ahead. Uh, did your show get canceled yet, loser? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Chris, you're on the air. Go ahead. Um, yeah, hi. I suffer from insomnia, and I tried sleeping pills. I tried sedatives. I tried everything, and I, fa- and I finally found something that cures my insomnia. AJ after hours. Hey, man. <laughs> What is, uh, what is this? Come on. Let me tell you something right now. I don't, I re- no, it's okay. It's all right. If you can say that. But I will, I will do one thing before I leave today. Yes. I'm going gra- to grab Stuttering John by the face, and I'm going to punch him right <laughs> in his freaking head. <laughs> one more call gets through, and you're dead. You yeah, Mel, you're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Howard, the only thing more embarrassing is the AJ After Hours show. Oh. oh. Get that John right guy now. And you know, that John right now. And you know who's really embarrassed? Who? He, even more embarrassed of that show than AJ? Who? His hair. It jumped right off his head to get away from him. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was John. I knew it. <laughs> get him in there right now. <laughs> I swear to Christ, when I leave... <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it? All right, let me tell you something. You fat bastard. You better leave early. No, there'll be tomorrow. I'm going to smack you silly, you Tomorrow's story. Actually, the next break. Yeah. Well, after the break. Come hey, back. Howard, AJ stands for Howie can jerk, by the way. Oh, what? What? Watch what happens. I don't really? care if I ever come back again. I'm going to go in there and punch you. And hey, listen, I have some free hats for a little... Uh, I'll go right now. A good wig for you to wear back here, AJ. I'll go right now. Go. No, no, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to beat you worse than Chuck Zito. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> AJ, what happened between you two? Oh, he's what gonna is going go. On? He's gonna go beat John's ass. But why is John doing that? I don't know. John's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's an> Adam. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, Jesus, here goes. You want me? Come on, mother. Christ, come on, mother. Hey, Come on, bro. Hey, Come on, I'm bro. I'm up right now. I'll beat your I'm ass right now, AJ. Jesus. I'm up right now, motherfucker. Go home, AJ. Go home. Oh, really? No, really. Just for now. I'm not saying go oh, home like it out. I'm saying like go AJ. home like calm down. They shouldn't get thrown. AJ. That's Ball the show. Back. But you put it yell at Howard. That's no, my job. The call, that's my job. All right, come on inside. Yeah. That's my job. You yell at Howard. What happened? <laughs> hey, don't don't say the effort. What happened? Hey, there's only one person bleeding here, AJ. Oh, I told dead. you I was coming to hit you, John. <laughs> you should be fired. Tom, what do you think? Tom, what happened? Right, you know what? I agree with John. Yeah. That's a sucker punch. I don't want the guy. I didn't around. even see I'll it. I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave. Get out of here. No, wait, is, wait. I told you I was going to hit you. I told you. I got to, get the, you didn't tell me you were going to hit I told everybody here. Get the hell out of here, dude. I said you earlier. Get out of here. Dude. Let's watch again. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what happened. the guy here. Yeah, so I guess people get really sensitive when it comes to their shows getting canceled like we saw from Ronnie as well. So those are just a few of the best blow ups in the show's history. And like I said, I'm gonna keep making videos about this as long as I don't have any problems. Like the last one got age restricted, but I think it's good now. And if this one does, I might have to take out some stuff, but it should be good. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more. And then also let me know what you think about all this down in the comments. And then make sure you go check out my Patreon account. There's a ton of content like this. You can hear about High Pitch Eric, some of his best moments. And you can also hear about one of the worst apologies of all time from Sal Governelli. That's a classic moment. So make sure you go check it out. I'll put a link in the description and then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.